Hey everybody, I'm Kendra Fitzgerald. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and joining me again for another way to discover your body. Today we are talking about releasing your upper back and your shoulder muscles because I know right now in the middle of the pandemic, everybody's neck and shoulders are killing them. So what you're gonna need today is just a little pinky ball or a lacrosse ball. A tennis ball also works well and the floor. So come join me on your back and we'll get started. All right, so this is a little myofascial release for your back, but it's different than just foam rolling. I like using balls because they can get in between the shoulder blade muscles a little bit more than a flat platform of a foam roller. So if you can find a ball, it depends on how much resistance and how much pressure you can take. If your shoulders are really sore, you might have to do this on a bed because a floor might be a little too hard, um, but no worries. You can find, you know, you can do it on a couch, you can do it on the floor, you can find a softer ball. Just find what works best for you. So when you're going through this, it shouldn't be so painful that it takes your breath away. It might feel intense, but it should not feel like you can't breathe. Okay, so we're gonna take the ball. We're gonna put it right between your shoulder blades. So in the spot where your spine and your shoulder blades meet, all those muscles right there. So you're gonna lay on your back on the ball. So if you have diastasis, make sure you roll down. <laughs> and then take the ball and put it behind your back and you're just gonna roll on it. Oh, and even that can be enough to really feel the weight of your chest start to open up those muscles. So spend some time here, use your breath. So if you find that your muscles are really tensing up and tightening up, spend some time here, try to relax. Because if your muscles tense, they're not going to release over the ball. So you can roll up and down. So you're not rolling on the spine, you're rolling just to the side. So you can see where that ball is, it's right there but behind my shoulder blade between my shoulder blade and my spine so you can roll up and down find any trigger points and trigger points are really where you feel like you know some grittiness or some intensity or maybe a little bit of burning but not too much right we don't want to take our breath away you can go just below your neck down to the shoulders kind of roll around on that ball a little bit and then find a spot that you feel is pretty intense, right? Stay there. And we're gonna add some shoulder movements to this. This is where, this is the, the game changer. And this is why we need a ball because you can really get in between that shoulder blade. All right, so you're gonna take your arm straight towards the ceiling and then take the arm overhead, leave the ball where it is and just move your arm. So you're starting to get some rinsing over that muscle. The muscles are moving over the ball as you're moving your arm. So it's a really good myofascial release practice to release the muscles as they're moving because you get a little deeper into the, the muscular tissue. Good, and then from here, we'll change the arm into a cactus pull. So you can pull down and around, right? So we're taking a different range of motion. You might have to adjust the ball as you're going. Good, breathe through it. If at any point this feels too, like, too much, take a softer ball. You can do it on the bed. You can also do this at the wall. Good, and then we're gonna take the arm all the way overhead and then imagine you're grabbing like a seatbelt strap and take it across and buckle the seatbelt on the other side of your hip. And then inhale, reach it all the way back up and then buckle across to your hip. And up and then buckle across. Good. All right, and then take your arm towards the ceiling. We'll open the arm out towards the floor and then cross it all the way over bring the fingertips down and then cross up and over. So like you're waving in front of your chest. Good. Ooh, I don't know about you, but there's definitely some gritty stuff going on in there. Good, awesome. Now, come back and then roll a little bit more on your back. If you find another spot, you can totally do all those movements again in that same spot, right? Going up and overhead and then the cactus and then pulling across. Right, just find the range of motion that feels really good. Awesome. Oh, and then come off of the ball. Good, shake it out a little bit. Ooh. And then we'll do the other side. So come down, roll down onto your back. We'll take the ball, put it underneath your shoulder blade, right? So again, not on your spine, but just between your shoulder blade and your spine. It's all the like rhomboid muscles and some of the multifidi muscles on either side of your spine or roll on top of the spine leave the spine alone right so rock up and down you can go as low as 
just to the bottom tip of your shoulder blades. You don't want to go too low because you don't want to press into your floating ribs down there because they're pretty delicate and sensitive. But you can roll all the way down, little inchworm. Oh, find any of those tight spots. And you guys, if you're hanging out on Zoom a lot these days or just working a ton over your computer, this is key because those muscles are so over tight and so tense. You'll feel it when you put the ball behind your back. Good. So find that spot that feels kind of, you know, really intense. Take a couple deep breaths over it. Good. Good. And then reach your arm towards the ceiling. We'll take the arm all the way overhead and then drop the arm all the way back down. So if at any point you start to feel like nerviness or things are shooting down your arms, it's too much, right? So at that point you would use a, a, a thinner ball or a, a softer ball or do the movement on the bed or go to the wall because you have more control over how much pressure you're putting on your back. No nerviness. Good, and then take the arm back up overhead and we'll take the cactus arm, so elbow pulls down. So you can feel the difference between positions when you're moving your arms, you'll feel like, you know, the mid back is, the muscles are, are reacting to it, right? Good, awesome. And then extend that arm up overhead. Imagine you're grabbing that seatbelt and then pull across towards your opposite hip and then back up and over, reach overhead and then pull. Yeah, you can totally use your breath. You guys know, you've been doing videos with me long enough, you know you should always use your breath. Never hold your breath. <laughs> if you're holding your breath, it's too much. And then exhale. Good, last one. We're gonna take the arm open and then cross over your chest. And then open. And cross over. And open. And cross over. And open. Good. Nice, now here's the kicker. You're gonna come off of the ball, move it out, and then lay on your back. And just take a couple of breaths here to breathe into that space that you created underneath your ribs. So it should feel like you have more space there. Good, let your muscles relax. Awesome, and then come on over to have a seat. So we're gonna take one more stretch here just to really get into those muscles that we've just released. So take your arms out to the sides, flex your palms, reach the fingers towards the ceiling. Good, this feels kind of funny. It's almost like you've got casing around your fingers. It's all that connective tissue and your the fascia wrapping around your fingers. And then cross your right elbow over your left. Right, you can cross your arms if you want, cross your hands if you want. If that's not available to you, you can totally bring the backs of your palms together and then press your elbows high, your fingertips forward, and then round your back a little bit. So let your breath go into your mid back. Breathe into those spots we just opened. Great, send your breath into your lower ribs. You can even drop your chin towards your chest a little bit. Good, one more breath here, inhale. And exhale. Nice, good. Release your arms, roll the shoulders out, press the arms out, and then take your left arm over your right. The other side, so same thing, you know, back to the palms together. If you can't bring your hands all the way around, I have crazy long arms. So if you don't, that's okay. Round your back, press the elbows high, press the elbows high, reach the fingertips forward and then breathe between your shoulder blades. So send your breath into that spot where we just rolled. Full deep breaths, full releases. And imagine puffing into your mid back. Good, one more breath here. and then release your arms, roll your shoulders out. Great, and then take your ball and we're gonna roll it just a little bit on your neck, on your upper neck muscles, so those traps at the top of your shoulders. You can probably kind of press down a little bit. Don't go too far up on your neck because the nerves and muscles in there don't take very much pressure. So just stay on your traps right here so you're in that big muscle on the top of your shoulders, just release it out. You can even turn your head to the side a little bit and then do the other side. Just roll it out. 
Ah, so good. Even just a little bit of attention to these muscles can help them soften and smooth out. Good, and then roll your shoulders out. Take a nice big deep breath into that space that you've created. Let it go. Awesome. Good job, you guys. So a little tennis ball, a little ball, and a little rolling on the floor can get you so far in releasing your upper back. Try this every day. Try it in the beginning of the day. Try it at the end of the day and see how it helps release your upper back. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you always get notified when I release new videos each week. And if you have videos that you would like for me to film or things you'd like to know more about, please leave them in the comments and I would be happy to film those for you. I'll see you soon.